All right, folks, uh, I think it's 13th of December. It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. It's about a quarter after 2 p.m. Uh, it's not exactly that warm out, but that sun's just almighty powerful. It feels so good. I'm gonna attempt to make a real fool out of myself with the two hands that I have, one of them for here show you what I meant on the last video I believe it was about trying to split these corn fodder bales up they've been working fantastic once again according to the last video two rings are set up to each other this is last night I removed that ring this morning I left that ring intact just about till about 10 minutes ago. You'll see the, as you can see, the amount that they eat and then the beautiful bedding spot that they have. Uh, to me, I love it. I don't know what you think. I love it. All right, let's not get cut here, okay? This could turn out to be real stupid. It is warm in there. Uh, no threat of danger, I can assure you that. All right, that just fell in, that's good. Forget motion sickness, I can't help that. Okay. Now we're not exactly a 50-50 here, but we got more than enough to carefully put there. And it just, it makes the world a difference. Smells fantastic. What do you think? That's a cold cow I gotta get rid of. You can see she's got the EID tag in her. And uh, I bit the bullet. And uh, I even put call tags on them. <coughs> Is that a waste of money? No. The only way I can buy God manage things around here is ear tags. Two hands. Remember, I'm a professional. Professional something. Some would say a professional jackass. I'm all right with that. Gotta be good at something, don't you? There, love it, love it. Most of the cows are down there. Kind of doing an earlier afternoon feeding. I got a little bit of an agenda, uh, about 5, 5.30 this evening, and uh, just getting some stuff out of the way. But uh, yeah, this is it for feeding the cows. Um, 
so this morning they got two fresh bales of uh, sorghum, wrapped sorghum. They had the remainder of what you've seen of corn fodder, um, and a remainder, a little bit of hay from a round bale that was not very good, but the goal is, you know, they can clean it up. And so uh, this is it for feeding the cows today. They got a, uh, you know, a big four by six, uh, beautiful bale of hay. I tapped into some really good hay right now. And a split bale of corn fodder. That'll keep them busy. Get the steam coming off of here. This will keep them busy till the morning. Uh, they're going to be a little upset with me in the morning, but that's all right. It's going to make them clean this up. It's just warmer than the outside temperature, folks. Smells fantastic. What do you think? Huh? What are we thinking around here? Hey, 1010. That's a bull producing machine right there. They also got some leftover sorghum they're cleaning up too. Plenty of feed. Might not be the highest quality of feed right now, but uh, there's a lot worse, folks. All right, maybe some of these bales. I must have picked up a wet pocket. So I'm here to tell you I had dust flowing when I was doing this. Again, I'm not concerned about the temperature. If you can't use your bare hand and do this, yeah, then there's a reason for concern. Like that one year I did that questionable alfalfa. You could almost call that a little stupid. What do we think here? Huh? Pretty fair? We all getting enough to eat around here? Good. There's another called animal, if you can see the tag, the white tag call, and it's got the white EID tag on it. <coughs> I don't know where we left off, but I got lucky yesterday morning. And I'm gonna spare you a lot of details, okay? There was two of them in the corral three cows in total, two of them with call tags on them, so I hurried up and I locked the gate. I wasn't going to ship these myself, because it, it, it's a pretty fair run. But uh, that was the better part of my later morning yesterday. Uh, got them loaded up. And uh, shipped to the shipper to the call market in Green Bay. We all doing okay here? This is what happens when you leave a feeder wagon in one place too long. You create yourself a nice amount of trouble. And this has got to get flattened in the spring. It's too late now. I just moved the wagon. Don't follow my lead, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Doing what I can do. Yeah. Working out just fine. Just fine. Right? Right.
bead busters that's what i mean when i'm calling it bead busters now tomorrow this is remnants of a wagon sitting here too long well, i sure like telling them myself don't i tomorrow we got a high of 48 some people's fancy phones are saying 52 goal is about 5 p.m. I actually want this to get slimy. It will help. Is to get the 6150M and the drag back going and give this one more go over. I'm very happy with what I achieved not long ago versus what it was. Then I'll get to get the hell out of here, get things appropriated with rings, the uh, the wagon. The cows are living in this lot. I call this the cow lot. This is the cow yard. They're going to be living in here in the winter. In the event of a horrid storm, which is imminent with high winds I will open up a magical gate or two so that they can go down to the swale for protection That's it folks don't follow my lead just showing you what I do and what I believe works for me this farm and that cattle that's it we'll talk to you sooner and later